guys! So ngayon, matututunan nyo sa vlog na to yung mga first commands na dapat yung tinuturo sa inyong puppy at an early stage. So, if you wanna know more, please keep on watching! Mom! Hi guys! Welcome again to another vlog. It's me, Mommy Nay. Welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Welcome po again sa aking season 3 ng Funny Mom, ang ating Fur Parenting Channel. Um, welcome po sa mga new subscribers ko. So, palaki po tayo ng palaki every week. At sobrang saya ko po sa mga comments and mga suggestions niyo po sa mga next vlogs ni Mommy Nate. So, today po or this week, uh, ang topic natin are the first commands that you should be teaching your puppy at a young age. By the way guys, yung mga ituturo ko sa inyo today is based from my own experience and from my um, learnings sa aming uh, obedience school. So, yun. So, may background naman tayo. Uh, merong basis. May trainer po talaga na nagturo sa akin on how to teach these commands. And you're gonna be getting it for free. So, not the entire course, but uh, basically, I think ito yung talagang uh, hindi naman masamang i-share ko talaga sa inyo. Kasi talagang it helped me and my family na talagang to okay <laughs> to strengthen yung foundation ng um, pagiging obedient ni Theodore. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so ang unang tanong lang naman dito is um, how young should you be training your dog? So, ako personally, um, the moment that we got Theodore, start na agad yung training niya. So, what I mean is, the moment that binaba ko siya sa, sa bahay namin, talagang, um, ano na, meron ng connection agad doon, binilt ko na agad yung relationship, teaching him where to potty, yung ganon, yung all those nitty-gritty part of having a puppy. Um, so yeah, there's no, ano, there's no, especially naman, no, wag mo namang turuan ng mga one day old, di ba? Or ano, but the moment that you get your puppy, that's the best time to start. Okay, so yung first command na ituturo ko sa inyo is I think the most important command that you could ever teach your dog. So, murang lang tayo para I could show a sample here on how I do it. So, the first command is what you call focus. So, um, kung nanonood kayo ng um, mga dog whisperers or yung mga ano, mapapansin nyo lagi yung word na focus or ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Okay? Focus is um, your eye-to-eye -eye contact with your dog. So, ikaw po talaga ang access niya to everything. Okay? So, how do you do this? So, hindi naman po nakakapagsalita ang ating mga aso. Kaya, usually, you do it with eye contact. So, um, this is how we do it. So, malaking factor ang treats sa training. Since, ang nose nila ang pinaka-active of them all. Um, ito yung talagang tinitrigger natin for them to follow. So, we're gonna have um, uh, treats. Um, Nasa-share ko na to sa previous vlogs ko. This is about low value treats and high value treats when it's a new trait it's usually better that you give them high value treats meaning yung talagang mga boiled um, chicken liver beef liver uh, mga boiled um, vegetables so yeah or fruits yan po talaga yung uh, sigurado makikinig sila agad so yeah so right here ipapakita ko po um Basically, I'm using chicken liver. That is Theo's favorite treat. And the moment that the puppy or your dog looks at you eye to eye, you have to immediately give a treat. It has to be the perfect timing. Ang key po dito is for your dog to get na pag tumingin siya sa'yo, bibigyan mo siya ng treat. Sa kanila, ang treat is, wow, I did a good job. Yes, I want that again. So every time they do that, so you can see it here, so, every time they do that, you give them a treat. Wala mo nang command, ha? Huwag mo mo nang sabihin na, focus, 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 ganyan, ganyan. Huwag mo mo nang sasabihin yun. So, yan. Hintayin mo lang siyang tumingin sa'yo, then you give a treat. Nagiging natural na at nagigets niya niya yung command, that's when you put a word to it. So, how do you do that? You say the word, 
focus. And then when he does it, you give the treat. It's possible, wag mo ilalagay yung treat sa harap mo while you're saying the command. Kasi ang tendency is titingin siya doon sa food at hindi sa mata mo. So usually put it behind you or in your pockets. Ang tanong, if para sa may mga focus-focus na yan talaga. Okay, so um, since sinabi ko nga kanina, yung eyes mo, ikaw yung key for him to everything. So, for example, um, nakabukas ang door. Okay? Nakabukas ang door natin. At gusto mong, gusto niyang lumabas. Hindi pwede. Okay? So, titingin muna siya sa'yo or before you go on walks, he needs to look at you first. Hindi porket nakabukas ang door means go out. So, he needs to have your um, permission first and how will he be able to do this? He needs to focus on you first. Isa yan sa mga situations na very important when it comes to training your dog to follow commands. By the way, guys, um, ito, very, very important to before we do any type of command or before tayo maglagay ng word doon sa command. Um, marami kasi nagtuturo ng mga commands na ganito. Focus. 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 Okay. Yes. Yes. Or stay. 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 No. 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 Okay. Um, dogs listen to commands na mas malinaw sa kanila at hindi pa ulit-ulit. So, lagyan mo ng value yung command by saying it only once. Like, for example, focus. Pause. Okay? Merong time for the dog to understand what you want from them. Because sa kanila, kapag pa, para ka lang din nagbabark. Hindi nila naiintindihan yung pagpaulit-ulit. So, it's very important na once mo lang sasabihin. Ngayon, give it few seconds. Pag hindi pa rin niya you say the command. Make sure that merong seconds in between the repetition of the command. Okay. So, um, before we end up yung, fo yung dun sa focus, itong command na to, or actually it's not a command, it's a reaction to the command, is very also important. So, a lot of people uses a clicker um, to say na, oh, you did what I wanted you to do. So, but in training school or obedience school, um, we'd rather have, or we'd rather use the word, yes. So, the yes is a signal for your dog that means uh, did a good job or ayun, nasundan niya yung gusto mong ipagawa. So, um, how do we do this? Okay, so, um, ipapakita ko here. Sit. Focus. Yes. So, basically, um, so, you focus, di ba? Um, when you say the word focus, he looks at you, and dapat sabay yung kamay mo with your food. Pagpasok sa mouth ng iyong dog with the word yes. So, yes. So, hindi dapat yes. Doon ka lang magbibigay ng food. Because it sounds like another command. So, or pagbigay, yes. No, kailangan sabay. Yes. So, that is also like the purpose of the clicker. Say, oh, when I hear that, that means... I did the right thing. So, yeah. So, never ever forget uh, the word yes. Okay, Theodore is here beside me already. So, hi, Baba. Bye. Bye, bye guys. <laughs> okay. So, the next command that I'll be teaching you is more on the obedience talaga. No? Yung, yung talagang dapat or matik alam ng dog mo. So, number one is sit. So, um, basically, um, lahat naman po siguro... Um, gusto na laging behave ang ating dogs. And when the dog gets very excited, especially when um, ilalakad mo na siya at alam mo yun, excited sila, super hyper sila. Uh, the sit command is really uh, your way to go. To calm your dog down. So, how do you teach this? Okay, so papakita ko kayo ng no old videos namin na ganito palang kaliit si Theodore. Tinturuan na talaga namin siyang mag-sit. Okay, we just didn't know uh, the correct way how to teach this. Pero ganyan pa lang siya kaliit talaga na natututunan na niya. Able to do is again, focus. Laging-laging focus. Laging nakatingin sa'yo. By the way, nakalimutan ko ituro kanina. Pwede yung ilagay yung hands nyo here para makita niya yung kamay nyo. Kasi may sento ng food na ito yung gusto mo. Dito mo gusto. Nagpo-focus siya right now. Ayan, nagpo-focus siya right now. 
Um, na dito mo gustong tumingin yung dog mo. Going back to sit, the most common mistake that people do when it comes to teaching the sit command is that gumalaw lang onti pababa yung dog. Binibigyan na agad ng treat na good boy or good girl, okay? So, pwede din namang ano yun, signal yun that they're doing right. Pero the word yes is quicker and faster. So, hindi parang buwaba lang slide, binibigyan na. Ang key sa sit command is that they're completely down. Like, nakikita mo talaga yung puwet niya naka, nakababa doon sa ground. So, pata ko yun ang sample here. Kapag half lang, we don't do this. We don't give. Para magets ng dog mo na ah, okay. So dapat relax yung bot ko sa ground. Para mabigyan ako ng treat. Anak, move here, please. Thank you. Okay. So the next command is what you call stay. Alam mo, ito yung isa sa mga favorite ko na turo kay Fiona. Stay is very important because. Um, again, um, pag gusto mo siya mag-behave or you want to prevent him from having accidents such as mag-run siya against the streets or you know, mayroong kids sa bahay and you want him to behave, the stay word is actually um, uh, one of the best commands you could ever teach your dog. So, um, so you uh, say focus while teaching it. You say focus first. And then, wag agad na iiwan mo siya. You say stay and then iiwan mo siya. So, take it one step at a time. When you say stay, you step backwards. If he doesn't move, you give the treat. And then, you can you can do this, this hand signal. Stay. And then, you give the treat. And then, you get two steps. Kapag di siya gumalaw, you return and you give it. So, you don't forget the word yes. Ito, very important yung word na yes. Kasi pag naiintindihan niya na, ah, yung yes word, that's why very, very important yung focus na step. Kasi kung hindi niya naiintindihan yung meaning ng yes sa'yo, hindi po talaga siya mag-work. So, sabihin niya, mami, na-yes ako ng yes, ganyan. You only say the word yes pag nagawa niya. That, that's very, very important. So, yun. <clears throat> going back. Few steps muna. And then, eventually, makikita. It's very exciting when you're teaching a dog. No? Makikita mo kung galing talaga nila. They're very, very smart creatures. So, eventually, magigets niya. Okay, I'm just gonna have to stay here. And she will come back to feed me. Or to give me treat. So, palayo ka ng palayo. Eventually, magigets niya talaga yung command. As long as you're persistent in making him stay. Or dun sa spot na gusto mo siyang magstay. Okay. So, the last command that I'll be teaching you guys is the command hand target. Or yung sa hand targeting. Okay? So, so aside from your eyes, your palms can be um, a way to direct your dog anywhere. So, pwede mo siyang uh, gamitin din. Uh, kung bawa, busy siya talagang mag-play, play down. At mas kita nila usually yung kamay mo kasi mas mababa, mas mababa yung kamay mo. You can use hand target. So, how do you do this? Okay. So, um, you go in front. So, makita niya here. You go in front of your dog and then you put your hand down. Okay. Medyo ilagay nyo in front of you. So, pag ganyan. Pag nilapit niya yung nose, dapat dapat, again, ha, parang sitting position to, guys. Kailangan fully nakaupo siya. So, dapat maramdaman mo yung nose niya or your mouth niya. Pag naramdaman mo na yun, yes, you give it a treat. So, yan. So, ayan. Come here. Ganyan. Paharap muna. Paharap muna. Eventually, pag natutunan na niya yung part na, oh, so, lalapit ko lang yung nose ko doon. Magigets niya yan, guys promise. You just have to be patient with your dog. And for sure, magigets yan. Ngayon, kung sampung taon ka nang nakaganya, wala pa rin siyang ginagawa, nakatingin siya sa kamay mo, what you can do sa mga first few steps is put the put the dog food here. Ito, lapit mo yung dog food here. Tapos, pag lumapit, yes, bigay. So eventually, tanggalin mo, magigets niya. Yun. So, paano mo ba uh, magagamit yung hand targeting? So, eventually, kapag... Eventually, very important to during walks. Kasi gusto mo laging nasa tabi mo yung uh, dog mo. So, instead of doing this or this, babalik ta rin mo lang yan. Same lang yan sa mata nila, yung palm mo. So, when you do that, 
lalapit din sa iyo agad. So, um, you're, you're ba basically teaching them, oh, we're going this way, we're going that way. So, very, very important yung hand targeting. So, basically, yung four commands na yun, yun ang, I think, very, 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 very important na um, teach nyo sa inyong dog at a very, very, very young age. So, if you have a puppy right now, tomorrow pa lang, agad-agad. Uh, may mga few questions lang for sure na maririn sa vlog na to. Number one is, nasagot ko na yung kanina, how early can you teach them? As early as possible. Basta, ma-establish mo na yung relationship with your dog. Um, second is, gaano kadalas ginagawa ang train? This vlog ko about myths about dog, na-mention ko doon yung opinion ko about snack. Okay, so if you love giving your dog snacks um, in between meals, siyang weight issues, katulad ni Theodore, ang sarap niyang i-train before because he's an underweight dog. So talagang I took advantage of the training. I was hitting two birds with one stone. Training and also um, feeding him. So Okay, so yung last tip na sasabihin ko sa inyo, yung third, is um, when mo exactly gagawin yung training. Timing is also important para talaga ma-digest ng dog mo yung mga ituturo mo sa kanya. So, perfect time is when they are well-rested. So, for example, um, actually, I did this before. Instead of feeding him na nakababa lang yung bowl, um, literally, what I do is, I feed him his dog food um, during training. So, at the same time, mapapakain mo na siya ng meal niya at natitrain mo siya. That's morning. And then, in the afternoon, um, quick walks. Pag magtitrain kami ni Theo, yung usual na 15 minutes, gagawin kong 5 minutes lang. And then, when we go home, um, dun ko binibigyan ng training shot. So, pero ang training po talaga, ideally, basta i-condition mo lang yung dog mo. Huwag mo siyang i-training na like, kakagising lang niya o kaya, for example, kakakain lang niya kasi busog pa siya so hindi siya mamamotivate sa inyong food. So, um, if you have any other concerns na parang maminipan siya nakikinig or ganito ganyan, please comment below and I'll try my best to help you guys. There you have it, guys. Sana may natutunan na naman kayo kay Mommy Nae. So, basically, madali lang naman po yung mga uh, tinuturo ko dito just as long as persistent kayo and willing talaga kayong magturo. Uh, promise ko po talaga na itong mga commands na to ay eh, nagagamit ko hanggang ngayon at um, it's such a nice feeling to have an obedient dog. So, yun. Thank you again, guys, for watching. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Mag-comment kayo below yung mga uh, topics and mga questions about chachas. I'll try to make a vlog out of those. So, there you have it. Um, thank you again for watching. I'll see you on my next vlog.